Hello! In this video, we will show you how to export a 3D model from Cinema 4D 2024 to Substance 3D Painter, apply textures in Substance Painter, and import the textures into the Cinema 4D and Redshift. Create, for example, a cylinder, increase the number of rotation segments, and make it editable by clicking on the Make Editable logo so that the UVW tag is generated. In order to UV unwrap object, switch to the UV edit layout and select the object. To arrange the UV islands of object, go to the UV packing tab of the UV manager, select the geometric radio button, check the preserve orientation and equalize island size boxes, and press the apply button. Now export the cylinder in FBX format. To do this, open the file menu, select export and click on FBX and save the file to your computer. After that, open Adobe Substance 3D Painter and create new project with the FBX file you exported from Cinema 4D and resolution of 2048 pixels. To navigate the 3D view in Substance Painter, Hold down the ALT key and use the mouse. For panning, hold the ALT key and the middle mouse button. To rotate, hold the ALT key and the left mouse button. To zoom in and out, you can hold ALT key and the right mouse button. Or simply scroll the mouse wheel. The asset window of the program contains default resources, such as materials, smart materials, smart masks, filters, brushes, alphas, textures, and environments. To get started, you can use Smart Materials. Go to the Smart Materials tab, select for example Steel Painted Old Material, and drag and drop it into your object. Now you can delete the default layer 1 that was added automatically when you created the project. If you open up Steel Painted All Smart Material folder, you will see the layers of this material. To understand what each layer does, hide all layers and then make them visible one by one, starting from the bottom. The bottom layer here is a base metal. You can change the properties and fill of the layer in the Properties fill window below. Above the bottom layer, there is a paint layer with mask. You can change the base color here. The third layer from the bottom is bumps. The fourth layer is roughness variations. Next is the dirt layer. And the upper layer is sharpen. To add a decal, open File menu, click Import Resources, press Add Resources button, open the decal file, Bring this in as a texture. Below select the name of your project. Press Import button. Find your decal in textures. Drag and drop it to the object. And bring it in as a base color. Then move it to the required place. And if you need, resize it after clicking Scale to Logo. You can place your decal layer underneath some layers of the smart material, to make it look dirty and damaged. To save the textures, open File menu, click Export Textures, choose Output Directory, select Redshift Output Template, and click Export button. Now go back to the Cinema 4D, switch to the Standard Layout, create a Redshift Standard Material, by opening the Material Manager and clicking on the new default material logo. And open the Node Editor by double-clicking on the Material Preview. Then open the folder with the saved textures and drag and drop the textures to the Node Editor. For convenience, arrange the maps in the following order. Color Metalness, Roughness, Normal, and Displace Height field. Click on Color Map and change the color space 
to sRGB. Select all other maps and set the color space to RAW. Now connect the out color output of the color map to the color input of the Redshift standard material. Then connect the metalness map to the metalness input of the Redshift standard material and roughness map to the roughness input of the Redshift standard material. To plug in the normal map, click on the Add Node logo, search for Bump, drag and drop Bump map to the Node Editor, connect the normal map to the Bump map, change the input map type of the Bump map to Tangent Space Normal, and connect the Bump map to the Bump map input of the Redshift standard material. To plug in the Displace Height field map, Click on the Add Node logo, search for Displacement, drag and drop the Displacement node into the Node Editor, connect the Displace Height field map to the Displacement text map input, then connect the output of the Displacement to the Displacement input of the output node. Further, right-click on the Cylinder object, select Render Text, Click RC Object Tag, go to the Geometry tab of the RC Object Tag, check Override Box, then check Enabled Boxes in Tessellation and Displacement sections, uncheck Smooth Subdivision Box in Tessellation section, and adjust, if you need, the Displacement settings. Perhaps you should increase the Maximum Displacement and Displacement Scale. After that, close the node editor and apply the newly created material to the cylinder object. Finally, add lighten, such a dome, and load a texture, HDRI map, for it. Now open Redshift menu, click on RC Render View, and press the Start button. It's OK. You can also render the scene to the picture viewer using Redshift. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.